Uh, now, earlier on today, Mr Motivator himself shared his top tips for beating the winter blues and staying positive throughout the colder months. And uh, Chef Gemma Ogson is here with a... It's a mood-boosting kind of hot pot, oh. soul-rewarding kind of thing of deliciousness. Hug. It's just a it's hug like in a big place. Hug. Cozy, you know, like comfort food. I think at this time of year, you just need hearty, yeah. like wholesome filling, warm, yeah. right, as well. Something to cheer you up when you look at it, you know, just like... Simple, simple food. Absolutely. It's yeah. going to boost your mood. Mm. And we've got shots as yeah, well. Yes, so I yeah. thought we'd start off with a shot because I, I love starting the day with a shot. It's fun as mm. well. It's a great thing to do with the kids. Obviously, this is not alcohol. This is, these are my immunity shots. So we've got, um, this one here is manuka <laughs> honey. Uh, yeah, manuka honey. Um, apple cider vinegar with okay. the mother because that's really good for your gut yes. health. Because, of course... Gut health and mood so just is... just down the hatch, is it? You can down the hatch, yeah, yeah. And what, then down the hatch? Down the hatch, yeah, cheers. Oh, goodness, me. cheers, so, everybody. Sorry, habit, always have to put it on the head and down So it's apple head. cider vinegar, manuka honey, um, uh, Ooh, some, hello. Some, some lime. It's really good, though, isn't yeah. it? So it's going to really give your gut some love. And wow. I'm going to... I've got another one. Yeah, you've got a really... That's a spicy one. So this one's got cayenne. It's okay. got garlic. So it's going to really help reduce inflammation. Um, and it's got manuka honey as well. That's spicy. It's got a kick. I want to try but it, but I won't be really able good. to do the last part of the show if I yeah have a little bit right now. So I'm gonna wow. just I'm <laughs> gonna crack on with it's good, isn't it? It's, it's, it's actually surprisingly good. Yeah, I mean, what you do is you you put the garlic cloves in there and then you strain it. Okay. So you don't have to. And actually, I like sip. to make sip. I'll have a sip. Can I have a sip? Oh yeah, sip. sip. I like to make it into a salad dressing as yeah, well. Yeah, so you can I've add some that. oil yeah. and put it, and it's just gorgeous. Delish. So I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get started with my hot pot, which is Yum. such a simple <laughs> recipe. I'm excited for this. I'm gonna get stuck yes. in if you don't mind, Gemma. Go for it. So I've got I've got olive oil in the pan. I'm gonna sauté some onion, some garlic, um, some celery, and some carrot, which is kind of like a base to most of the mm -hmm. stews that I do. Um, so yeah, you're mm. just gonna soften that. Literally pop it all in. Um, and you could even so, use you could use frozen veg if you haven't got any fresh uh, because good idea. yeah, which is great. So if you've got stuff in the freezer, so I'm gonna yeah, this is kind of a good base to most of the stews that I do. So you cook that down for a couple of minutes. Um, I'm adding kale, but you can add spinach, you could add chard, you could add all of them. But of course, greens are full of iron. They're mm -hmm. gonna help with fatigue, and you know they're great. And also, if you put them in something like this, I like to. You know, my kids don't really see it, so yeah. they're not going to pick it out. So, and you know. I find the good thing about kale and stuff, you know, as a, opposed to spinach or something mm. else green, it actually stays, it's got more yeah. of a substance it to it, where spinach is like, like that. Yeah, it absolutely. Just, goes, it does, it? just like make it. sure you yeah. take the stalk off the kale because else it's going to be a little bit crunchy. Right. Um, but yeah, so any greens will do. And again, you could use frozen. So this is um, kind of softening nicely. Gemma, do you like it? Is Absolutely Isn't delicious. It? This like, it's it's really delicious. Sometimes I say things are delicious and they're grand. Yeah. But this but is properly this delicious. This is so lovely. I, yeah. I think, like, the smokiness, you know, yeah. it makes it feel oh. a little bit mediterranean -y. Yeah. And, of course, it's super hearty. You can add chilli if you, if you like it spicy. Yeah. But um, I'm going to add my tin of tomatoes. And I think what's great about this dish is really low cost. Um, you can get... You can get Everything from the store cupboard and the freezer. If you haven't got butter beans, use chickpeas or use cannellini beans. You could even use a tin of baked beans. Yeah. Honestly, that would work as well. Um, I it's guess it's nice just, yeah, be versatile with what time. you've got. Mm. But the smokiness, bring, it just it adds a little bit of a different element. And then yeah. we've got some lemon zest and some parsley, so it makes it a little bit zingy. And you could, I suppose, batch cook this as well, couldn't you? If you did a big batch of that and you were going like, to freeze it or something for 100%. quickness. Oh, listen to you with the batch. And, just, and even this would be nice. I've seen them, I've seen them on TikTok, <laughs> they batch things these yeah. days. No, and but when you've got like a busy family and you want something yeah. good that you can take out rather than like putting, I don't know, fish fingers in the oven or something. Um, yeah, you can make them a little bit. It's exactly yeah. batch cooking. It's great. Do it on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just adding my kale now. So literally, all you're going to do is cook this down for five minutes, and then we're going to pop it in an oven dish and top it with potatoes, which you don't even need to just wash them. Give them a really good wash, and then slice them. That's it. Can I say so something well. ridiculous? Can you I say? Please okay. do. You can. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm missing meat. Like, you could tell me there's meat in it. I, uh, and this is really more for the meat eaters in your house. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or the kids who are like, oh, veggies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't notice it. It's so delicious. Absolutely. And you don't, you don't even need it. to kind of... So you don't even need to tell them. It's just... It's a hearty dish. Yeah. And I think because of the butter beans, because they're full of protein and, you know, they're going to fill you up. It's great. It's all, you know, equally... 
Have it as a side with something else if you've got leftovers. It's your little book. My little yeah, book. Yeah, healing yeah. cookbook. I actually feel like it's doing a bit of healing. It absolutely yeah, is. Right. That's Thank what you. you're quite passionate about, isn't it, Gemma? Your recipes not just being like, yes, good for you, but they're good for your mind, body, soul. At the absolutely. Same time. You know, I sort of, I, I really believe that food is medicine, and I feel that, you know, even simple things like if you're poorly and you have a have a bowl of soup, you know, it makes you feel better, mm -hmm. not only physically but emotionally. Yeah. And I think. Had that connection for me is, you know, something that I've I've discovered, I guess, and yeah, I really feel that there's more to food than just eating because you're hungry. You yeah, know, yeah. You know, Gemma, yes, my agree. my mum, my lovely mum Ethan is at home watching this show oh, at the moment. She's hello, very Good poorly morning, at the moment. Oh, no. Will you tell her to have some soup today, please? Because it works. Doesn't yes, it? Uh -huh. honestly, soup yeah. minestrone, like you know, just celery, onion, carrot, bit of stock, some beans. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's so hearty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this. Pop this and, in my dish now. And with the... You see the colour as well. Look how bright it's that so looks. Vibrant, it's isn't it? so vibrant. It's so vibrant and colourful. With, with the potatoes, do you have to do anything with them before? Do you have nothing. to boil them? No, or... nothing. Literally, just... If you just slice them thinly... Um, also, you know what would work really well? If you haven't got potatoes, you could do sweet potatoes. Oh, nice. Yeah, which would kind of add a different element. Or and a then, mix. Or a mix, exactly. Just kind of... Can you get mm. sweet potatoes crunchy like they're crunchy? Yeah. sweet, sweet Yeah, sweet potatoes are great. Mm. They're great. But, yeah, you just lay them on top. And I guess what else is great about this dish is so quick. Like, hit on a Monday yeah. when you're tired and the kids are moaning and, you know, you just want to do the dinner and eat and then put your feet up and run out. This is me every night. This is me every the, night. Do you well. know what? The, when you do something like this, it's actually so, like you say, so simple, so effective for everybody. The longest part of it is the chopping. That's Absolutely. All really, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, kids but, moaning? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sorry, kids. Do kids moan? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then nice little drizzle of olive oil and some salt and pepper over the top and then you literally just pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes and there you go comes out and looks like this and then so when at what point do you do the little zest of lemon so at literally you get it out the oven so it looks like this uh -huh. um and then i love you know this is this is obviously if, if you're into lemon zest but I, I i lived in barcelona for a bit and it just kind of makes yeah. me reminds me of that like mediterranean it does you know, actually does the, the lovely sort of Adds a bit of colour and then some fresh parsley. And, and it pops parsley. a bit because you get the odd little bit of yeah. the zest and it's really Lovely. nice. Do you know if I'm bored of chopping, do you know what I do? What do you I just do? bring it. I just bring in Sophie Ellis Baxter. That's yeah. what I do. I just got, yeah. as I'm a bit bored of chopping these <laughs> that potatoes. That would be good. Oh, there you go. We'll we'll have a, have a, every every time. Kitchen just go. Nice to see it. Nice to You're see you too. I'm going mm. to smell. I have to say, that smells absolutely it's amazing. So delicious. Yeah. So, so delicious. Quite this nice is a good one for you to try when you're having a kitchen disco. But chopping to music always. Chop to music. Right? Chop to music. Well, yeah. we can chop to music. Right? Yeah. We can do um, that. Oh, well, thank you. It's a very much because I am. You. I'm it, now yeah, full. I could keep going. I could keep going. That will be. But you can have the leftovers tomorrow. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank That's going home pleasure. with her. That's for sure. Gemma, thank you so much. Good to see you. Nice to see you. We're going to chat to you very soon indeed. Details of all the recipes from all our chefs can be found on the free this morning app.